today we're here with Craig Pendleton. He's the senior director of Cisco's Iris. I'm just going to ask him a few questions today. Um, starting off with Iris, uh, it's called the Future of Satellite-Based Communications. What what makes it that? Why do you think it's called that? It's so special. Uh, Iris stands for Internet Routing in Space, and it's Cisco's vision for how to converge space and ground networks into one unified IP fabric. Which sounds kind of funny and technical, but what it really means is being able to make satellite networks work just like the internet does today. So whether you're using DSL or cable or wireless or satellite, the network should offer you all the services and all the capabilities and let you talk to all the people you want to talk to seamlessly. You shouldn't have to worry about the fact that it's going to be a satellite. Today it's difficult to use satellite because the, the option of, of last choice, you want to make it the option of first choice. And that's the long term goal. satellites an intelligent part of the network. And by that we mean we, we've taken our technology, the same technology that's in our products on the ground and the routers that drive the internet today, we put it in a satellite as well. And from there the satellite participates in how communication goes between all the different users and the websites and then the different internet devices in the world. Okay. Okay. And then today just to talk about you were the moderator of the it was called IPv6 compliance by 2012. And um, can you explain a little bit of what you talked about and why that's important? Sure. Um, IPv6 is the name for the next generation protocol for the internet. IP stands for internet protocol. And today when you have uh, computers talking to websites on the internet, they're all using a protocol called IPv4, version 4. Um, the problem with IPv4 is it has been used for a long time and it was never designed anticipating that the internet would get as big as it is today. It, would, it came from the idea of we're going to connect maybe one university to another, or one business to another, or maybe have one user with one computer talking to the network. Well, now we see that everything is connected to the internet. Your TV is, your phone is, um, your, your computer, your light switches at home. But what we found is that there's just not enough addresses for each one of these devices, each one of these people, to be able to connect to the network. There's a limited set of addresses, kind of like telephone numbers. When you have a nine-digit telephone number, ten-digit telephone number, there's only so many phones you can connect. Well, we're, we're out of phones, we're out of numbers. So in the internet, the next move to IPv6 allows us to have dramatically more addresses and to be able to connect dramatically more things to the internet and get all the benefit and 